Human bites pose a significant risk due to the direct introduction of oral bacteria into tissues. The clinical approach to human bites includes understanding the mechanism of injury, microbiology, clinical presentation, management, and prevention. Human bites occur in various settings, including altercations, accidental contact, and occupational exposure. The two primary types of human bites are occlusive injuries and clenched fist injuries. Occlusive injuries involve full thickness penetration by teeth, often seen on exposed areas of the body. Clenched fist injuries occur when a closed fist strikes a person's teeth, typically affecting the dorsal aspect of the metacarpophalangeal joints. These injuries may extend into deeper structures, increasing the risk of infection and other complications. The human oral cavity contains a wide range of bacteria. The most common aerobic bacteria involved in human bite infections are Streptococcus species, Staphylococcus aureus, and Echinella corrodens. Echinella corrodens is particularly significant in human bite infections. Anaerobic bacteria commonly involved include Prevotella species, Fusobacterium species, and Peptostreptococcus species. Signs of infection can develop within hours. Local symptoms include redness, swelling, pain, warmth, and purulent discharge. Deeper infections may present with restricted movement, crepitus, or pain that is disproportionate to the physical findings. Fever, swollen lymph nodes, and malaise suggest systemic involvement. Complications may include abscess formation, osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, and tenosynovitis. Clenched fist injuries have a higher risk of complications due to deeper tissue involvement. Wound care involves irrigation with normal saline to reduce bacterial load. Debridement is necessary to remove necrotic tissue and foreign material. Wound closure decisions depend on infection risk. High-risk wounds are generally left open to heal by secondary intention. Primary closure may be considered for facial wounds where cosmetic concerns are significant. Empiric antibiotic therapy should cover both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. First-line treatment includes amoxicillin clavulinate at a dose of 875 mg and 125 mg orally twice daily for adults. For patients with a penicillin allergy, clindamycin at 300 mg orally every 6 hours combined with trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole at one double-strength tablet orally twice daily is an alternative. Severe infections or deep tissue involvement require intravenous antibiotics such as piperacillin-tazobactam or a combination of ceftriaxone and metronidazole. Antibiotic duration depends on the severity of infection. Prophylactic antibiotics for high-risk but uninfected wounds are given for 3 to 5 days. Established infections require treatment for 7 to 14 days. Tetanus prophylaxis is necessary if the patient's immunization status is incomplete or unknown. Rabies risk assessment should be conducted for bites from individuals with unknown vaccination status or potential rabies exposure. Personal protective equipment such as gloves and face shields reduces the risk of exposure for healthcare workers. Training in de-escalation techniques can help reduce the incidence of violence-related injuries. In conclusion, Human bites are uncommon but carry a high risk of infection. Prompt wound care, appropriate antibiotic therapy, and careful monitoring are essential to prevent complications. Clenched fist injuries require special attention due to their increased risk of deep space infection. Early intervention is necessary to achieve optimal outcomes.